Politico had a really interesting uh, story over the weekend, um, highlighting four issues that could cause Hillary Clinton, in their in this writer's opinion, to lose the general election. And the argument was that really we're seeing all four already playing out very specifically. The first was taking uh, Latino enthusiasm for granted that this is uh, this was a, a portion of the electorate, a demographic that had been packaged, wrapped with the big bow uh, for, for Hillary Clinton. But when you look even at the numbers uh, right now, um, a Fox Latino poll showed that she has a 39 point lead on Donald Trump uh, with the demographic. And you think that's terrific until you see that in the same poll that uh, Barack Obama carried a larger percentage of the that that the Latino voters also uh, Hillary Clinton has a plus 15 net favorability. Barack Obama had a plus 45 net favorability. Oh, uh, Mitt Romney only got 27 percent of the Latino vote. But I'm more is this a problem? It's if you take the Latino vote for granted, it absolutely is a problem. She could take off states that tend to vote Republican like in Arizona because of the high Latino population. She also can solidify Nevada, which is a swing state, and Colorado, which is a swing state. Those are the three states and the most important of all, most important in the country, Florida. Those four states, the Latino vote deeply, truly matters. And Trump is very weak, but Hillary Clinton isn't very strong. They are also a dis disproportionately younger uh, demographic in terms of voters, and that is the second problem, that Hillary Clinton is alienating the, the youth vote, perhaps having a Bernie Sanders uh, to fight against every day in a primary season that she would like to see end and that apparently will not end until at least June 7th, if not all the way to Philadelphia. Uh, how does she then mobilize the base of the Sanders supporters who thus far have remained steadfast in their collective support of the Vermont senator? Because once again, Donald Trump's weakness is the place where Hillary Clinton should be strongest. Yeah. Bernie Sanders is taking a higher percentage of the youth vote than Barack Obama did in 2008. Bernie Sanders has actually energized and brought people into the political process, but they aren't so easily transferring themselves over to Hillary Clinton. She's doing great among young women. Among young men, she is not winning by the percentage she should be. Hmm. As I get, I'll, I'll get you out of here on this one. Uh, the email uh, scandal, she is, her campaign over the weekend adjusted its messaging saying it, it was a mistake. It was something that hadn't been said. She said there was no new news there in her initial reaction. How much does this stick with her? It's only one straw, but there's a camel there. Mm. And at some point, there's a straw that breaks that camel. The issue for her is integrity. Does she say what she means and means what she says? Can she look you straight in the eye and you're prepared to believe what she has to say? That is under serious question, and this is just one more example. And what makes this different is that this is an official government agency, the agency that she ran. If Donald Trump screams and hollers about it, he'll undercut the power of that issue. But make no mistake, in the debates, that is going to be her toughest question. And I'm not sure if she has an answer yet for it. I'm with you on the pay-per-views. This is uh, all these none of aboves. What, what, way, what pushes them to, to one of the above? Could you imagine a Bernie Sanders debate? I would, the perfect drinking game for Bernie Sanders, every time he promises something free, you have to drink from somebody else's beer. <laughs> Uh, this is going to be a fascinating summer. Frank, we really appreciate the time today. Thank you.